Morning, how are you? Good. Hey guys, it's Dustin here, the Pro Picker. So in today's video, we're gonna go to this same thrift store three times this week, and we're gonna see what we find. This is um, actually on Saturday, so looking around here, um, I see this, and it's, I believe it's actually the HS80. I thought it was the HS90, which can be pretty decent. Usually, I, I oddly enough find those new or open box on a regular basis. I end up putting that back, as you'll see in just a moment. However, here I'm actually looking at a Keurig, and it's half off, so it's $9.99, so it'll be uh, $5. And this is actually for personal use because our Keurig stopped working. I go ahead and put that in the cart and um, take it down there to go test. So really all I can do, I could have waited for it to heat up, but I basically wanted to plug it in, see if there were any errors. I don't typically buy these for resale, just based on the fact that uh, I have bad luck with them actually working. But I am happy to report, guys, that this one actually did work, and all the K-Cups we have left over can still be used. It's basically the uh, same model that we had, except it has, like, an extra size button on there. And, so yeah, if we were to go out to the store right now and buy a brand new one of these, we'd be looking at, like, $130. So I'm saving 125 bucks essentially. And what's nice about that is... It's probably the buy of the day because, you know, you don't have to pay taxes on, you know, savings. You pay taxes on income. So I was able to offset some personal expenses here at the thrift store. All of our K-Cups that we have stashed up, as I've mentioned, uh, still good to go. And we're able to use those now. So they really do get you on the ecosystem because, like, if your Keurig breaks and you have 100 K-Cups, you don't want to just throw out the 100 K-Cups, right? And moving on here... I told you that I'd be finding some more blow mold stuff and I'd share that with you. So this is one of them. He had $5.99 on this. It is missing the sheep. It's also missing the light. And there's not a lot of sold comps for missing the light. But I did find one. $70 plus $8.80 shipping. Obviously this is going to cost much more than $8.80 to ship. So we're really looking, we'll just say $79 shipped here is what it's gonna the market will bear for it and if we're and this is a uh, outside of the holiday so we're getting closer so we might be able to ask a little bit more in that very limited time window i mean we should be able to make you know 40 bucks profit or something off of it i think it's pretty awesome it is a vintage one um i have heard some people mention that they've brought back blow molds and so it's hurt the vintage market some but there's always people looking for the old stuff. So this is an Empire one. They're a pretty big manufacturer, or were at least a pretty big manufacturer of these. I do see the uh, signature. This is like a hand knit sweater vest, I guess. And these go for like 25 to 40 shipped. So I'll be okay on it. I know the comp I threw on the screens not this exact one. However, I think it's pretty neat, so probably be on the top end of that range just because it's so unique and different. It's the safari one. And who doesn't want to wear a safari sweater vest? Now we leave no stone unturned here on the Pro Picker channel and saw this in this cabinet here. So this guy is a Kurt Adler, or gal is a Kurt Adler fiber optic angel. It's a tree topper. I'm thinking with the box and everything, we're looking at 50 to 60 on it. Oh, no way. It's wings move. Oh, it's arms move. If I had room, I'd probably buy that bicycle, but I have no space. Uh, I shouldn't even be buying the uh, blow mold in there. You wouldn't buy what? I shouldn't even be buying this. I have no room. <laughs> Sucks. It's like the whole set came in. Yeah, it's and, missing the Actually, uh, I bought the what you might call it, the donkey. I have one back there. It might be a sheep. But well, the sheep's supposed to go with this one. Did I put that out with it? Would you mind checking? 
Give me a second. Yeah, that'd be awesome if you had that. Uh, I'd even pitch a couple. I'd pitch a couple extra bucks on it if you needed. <laughs> All right, guys. So while he's back there checking that, I go ahead and stack up my finds here. Pretty happy with that Kurt Adler and the blow mold. Sweater vest is okay, but here we are. This is the cow calf and. Without a light, I really don't know what we're going to get for it, uh, guys. I threw up a comp there. I think that that's the only one without a light. But they took an offer. I didn't check Terapeak or anything to figure out what that offer actually was. So um, I go ahead and pick it up. He charges me like $4 for it, so you cannot complain there. Even without the light, I should be okay on it. I know some people are going to advise trying to sell those locally and everything, but I just don't have the bandwidth, first off, to sell things locally. And second off, I really don't think there's going to be a lot of people that are willing to pay up what I would need here locally. I think this is one of those things where you have to throw it online to get that top dollar because you need enough buyers that actually will pay up for it. So here we are. This is actually um, the second half off day of the week and they had a uh it's a 2016 proton pack from ghostbusters here and they have 7.99 on it i know it's mainly used for costumes i'm not going to list it till after halloween because we're so close to halloween that i could never ship it in time and i don't really want to respond to like messages hey can you overnight this and then for some reason it doesn't get to them in time or something it's just not something i want to deal with I'll probably put it up and see. Hopefully somebody buys it for the holidays for like a big Ghostbusters fan or something. I do pass on the Heelys there. They It would have been like $7.50 with the 50% off. Somewhere my footage dropped off, but I did buy two vintage Arizona uh, tees. Like the Arizona uh, brand from like, I believe it was JC Penney's. And they're pretty cool. They're on like, uh, I think Hanes like beefy tags for anybody that cares about that. But regardless, I think I'll get around the 20-ish dollar range for those shipped. And uh, I think I paid a couple bucks each, so not too bad. The Proton Pack definitely was the highlight of this run to the uh, Salvation Army. And kind of like Groundhog Day in this video, we're going into the Salvation Army for the third time here. Now we're at a different part of the store. So over here, I see Moen and it's vintage. And vintage Moen does sell. This is older than the comps I threw up on the screen. However, I'm just trying to show you that vintage Moen sells. I can't find an exact comp for that. And at the same time, I see this Tater Twister. It is brand new. They have three bucks on it. I should get a little over $40 shipped for it. So we'll definitely make a profit on it. I'm just making sure everything's in this Moen. And uh, yeah, we do seem good to go after uh, inventorying it. It's a um, restroom faucet, so nothing super fancy. Oh, here I am. I am checking stuff out. Uh, so I wanted to make sure like I could find something like comparable. I really couldn't, but $10, it's Moen, and Moen is quality. Worst case scenario, we'll use it in the future for something that we do real estate related or something so I go ahead and uh, toss these on the counter here to uh, check out and uh, he had these hard drives all three of them and I was like hey can we work out a deal on them but first can I open one because when I shook them it was weird and then there was a, a resealed sticker on top of the other sticker so it just seemed off to me and it looks like it's just cages without the hard drive all you have is the io panel that's uh, been removed there and that's it so these are just pieces of plastic with the chargers it looks like sometimes i know people will buy um, good deals on external hard drives sometimes and then gut them to use the storage like in a desktop or um, a media pc or a server or something so maybe that's what occurred. I'm not 100% certain, but I am definitely glad I checked because, you know, I didn't want to buy three things um, that, you know, don't have the hard drives in them. That, that wouldn't work out too well for me. And, uh, you know, he's glad too, because obviously 
um, finding that out now is better than finding it out, you know, later or having an upset customer or something. So he's pretty chill about it. And uh, all I did was uh, go ahead and pick up the uh, two items there that you saw. All right, guys. So I think some pretty good finds there at the Salvation Army over those three visits uh, in the past few days. I mean, I know I said this week, but Saturday was less than a week ago. So yeah, it's a week. Pretty happy with what I found. I mean, the blow molds without the lighting elements, uh, we'll have to see on it. If anybody's curious how I'm going to sell those, I'm going to sell them separately. I don't think I'm going to lot them together. And I think because I have three of them, the other one in the video before last, I believe. I'm going to just ship them in the original boxes and just say, hey, this ships in the original box. I know, but it's just really hard sometimes to get like the perfect box to fit into the, to fit those sort of things in because they're different dimensions and whatnot. So that's going to be the route I probably go with it. And with that, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. We have been crazy busy taking photos and listing. We had 48 listings yesterday added to the store. And as I told you, I bought that huge lot a little less than a week ago. And we're like two thirds of the way through it already. And I'm talking it was a pretty sizable lot. So I'm excited to share that with you guys. Hopefully I'm able to add some context to everything. But we have been hard at work. So with that, I'm going to wrap it up. Let me know that down in the comments what your favorite find in today's video was. I'm interested. And make sure to like the video, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications, and follow me on Instagram and TikTok at ProPickerOhio. I'll see you in the next one.